Hello everyone. Happy, what day is it today? Oh my goodness, happy Saturday. Welcome back. This is Kirsten Red Resells. I was coming today to, um, I don't know, show you um, a unboxing. Um, well, a little bit of an unboxing. Um, an unboxing and a couple little things that I uh, managed to purchase this week. Um, yeah, so once again, I'm Kirsten. Thanks for stopping by. Um, if you ever need to get in touch with me, please feel free to. Um, my email is kirstenred56 at gmail.com. Or if you're interested, I do have a Poshmark. And the Poshmark handle is Poshmark at Bubby's Bling. My Instagram is at Bubby's Bling. Once again, I'm Kirsten. So um, I have a YouTube friend named Gina Gay. Everyone, if you haven't, which I'm totally sure you have, please go check out her channel. Um, yeah, she's awesome. She's funny. She's smart. She's witty. She has a lot of awesome jewelry and all of that fun stuff. Anyway, um, I've been purchasing on and off from her for quite a little while, and we've become friends, and we decided instead of just shuffling money back and forth that we would do um, a trade. First time I've ever done a trade, um, so it was pretty cool. I have no idea what I sent her. I can't remember. It was only a week ago, but that's just how my brain works. So anyway, I'm just gonna pull out some some yummies that um, I got from Miss Gina Gay. Um, yeah. I just, you know, I don't know. I just, I guess, so I saw one of her light box videos and um, was like, oh my God, that's so pretty. I love it. And she took took note of it. And then, um, I don't know. And then she would show me something. I'm like, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Next thing I know, we're doing a trade. And she remembered. So here is one of these incredible pieces. Can you see that? Don't know. Let me move my little Buddha. Let's see, booty, sorry. Look at that. I know nothing about it. I don't really care. I just think it's beautiful. And I'm not even sure how old it is. I mean, the clasp, you know, looks older. But who knows? I mean, they're so good at making new stuff that looks old now. And, you know, I... Sometimes it's very difficult, but regardless, it's just really, really, I love it. And it's silver tone, which I like because I wear a lot of silver. I wear gold too, but a lot of my um, vintage necklaces or semi-vintage necklaces are gold tone. So it's unusual, at least for me, to find something in a silver tone. And I just think it's just really beautiful. So that's one. Isn't she pretty? Okay, which one do I do next? Let's see here. Let's see. Okay, okay, here's a gold tone one. And this one <laughs> seemed a lot bigger. And so when she said, I'm gonna send you that one, I was like, oh my God, how big is this thing? And I was pleasantly surprised um, that it wasn't as big as I thought it was. Um, yeah, and this one's just, let me fix it on the little little mannequin gal. Uh, let's see, come on, come on. Anyway, you get the idea. It's like kind of, I don't know what it is. It's just really pretty. Um, and this one can be made longer. I'm not sure what it reminds me of. A little Egyptian-ish, um, a little 70s-ish. I have no idea. And like, I don't even know if this one's vintage either. I don't think this one, well, who knows? I don't think this one is. I could be completely wrong now. I'm probably wrong, I'll have to ask Gina. I don't know, maybe she doesn't know. Anyway. So I got this in the trade. Pretty. What do you think? What else? Oh, okay. So I have a thing for rings. If um, you've been here before, uh, you probably know. If you haven't been here before, hi. Um, I love rings. I can't, it's like an, I am addicted to them. It's my favorite piece of jewelry to own. Um, then bracelets um, and then necklaces and earrings, but for sure, rings and bracelets. Anyway, um, oh, I'm wearing this guy today. I don't know if anyone's seen this one before. Anyway, okay, um, yeah, so, but I have small fingers. Seems it's hard to find rings in my size. And Gina showed me, did she show me this ring? I don't know, anyway, it doesn't matter, but I saw it and I was like, oh my God, that's kind of pretty, because this is old, um, and 
it's it's hard to find unusual looking stones and i know people if you don't know much about turquoise you know and i don't expect everyone to know a lot about turquoise but i don't tend to go for a real light blue turquoise but because this had really lovely matrix in it this is a bit of copper um will form in there anyway so i thought it was really pretty and it's a smaller one um i usually wear big honkers but this is nice because sometimes sometimes you don't want to wear a big old pew. most of the time i do but even this with a big old pew, i think would look quite nice and I like the natural patina and the chunky bit. So it has a little bit of brutalism in there, which is also nice because a lot of times, well, there's a little flower, there's a little, little blossom there, but it's kind of brutalist. Anyway, so this was, I thought was darling. Like I said, it's a, a smaller statue, stature, stature, excuse me, um, but lovely all the same. And this was a surprise. She said, yeah, I'm throwing a ring in there. And I was like, what ring? I had no idea what she was talking about. And then, pew, I got this little guy. So cute. Okay, so that's the little ring, which was a surprise because I really did, you know, know that that was coming. Okay. Oh, this one's cool. This one, she showed me in passing, and I was like, oh, what's that? What's that tribal looking? What is that? Get, why, I like that tribal thing. And she's like, I oh, know, isn't it cool? And I was like, yeah, it's totally cool. Um, and guess what? She put it in there for me. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. And this one's a kind that of, you can layer or wear alone. I mean, you know, but I can see this. There's some like little longer guys hanging down there. Or even like, you know, if you had like, you know, jade, jade beaded necklace with it, it would look beautiful. And this guy is adjustable, so. And it's kind of funny for a gal who really doesn't wear a lot of necklaces, I sure do think they're really pretty pieces of artwork. I like to hang them. I mean, I do wear them, just not a whole lot. <laughs> you wouldn't tell by, by my, my little shade with Gina, but anyway, okay. So this next thing, Gina had uh, won an auction with Sue. Sue is someone else that you should definitely check out from um, Denim to Diamonds, live auctions. She has really, really unique stuff. Every style, every error, like all over the place, which is great because it accommodates a lot of different tastes and people. Um, and uh, Gina won this bit that she loved and uh, the bracelet and the necklace. And if you don't know, Gina's fully tattooed. Um, and so smaller things get lost on her. Um, so the bracelet, it was big, chunky, perfect, and she loves it and showed up, but the poor little necklace didn't show up on her. So I got it. <laughs> so I got this beauty. I love her, love, love this girl. She is ceramic. I think they said that she's from Italy, handmade in Italy. Now, what I'm going to eventually do is I'm going to be I'm going to be stringing her onto black jet or black crystal um, to bring out her features a little bit more. Um, this might be too big. That's why I haven't done it yet. I might use a slightly smaller one. Um, the gold is fine. I mean, it, it's definitely fine. It's how Gina got it and it's how she gave it to me. Um, but the bracelet has a bigger girl on it and she's in like a double strand of these and it just pops and it looks spectacular. So I figured I'll try it and see. Isn't she something? Look at that little face. She's got the little coral up there. Is this in focus? I don't even know. <gasps> anyway. Okay, so that's that one. And this next thing is just, I guess she just threw it in because, um, you know, I make things <laughs> occasionally. Anyway, and I'm a stone carver. And so Gina was like, well, I've got these really cool stone beads, blah, blah. I'm just gonna send them to you. Do what you want with them. So that was really nice of her. And it's totally out of focus. So, okay, let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. So I've got these little bag of goodies that I get to mess with. Oh, the glare is horrible, sorry. So those are always fun to have. And then um, this big bag of stuff. I've already designed, I'm going to make a bracelet and a couple pairs of earrings and, and stuff like that. 
So it was like, so these were all just like, you know, surprises, literally. So that was really sweet. So that was my trade with the Tina Gay. Um, what do you think? I think I, you know, granted, you don't know what I sent her, but I think I uh, made out pretty good here. I could do a quick little, you know, got this beauty here. Don't forget the first one. Look at that. Can't wait until I can actually go somewhere other than, you know, Target or the animal supply store or picking up or dropping off my kid from school. <laughs> one day, things will be a little bit more normal again. Got that guy. We got this. This is just a little recap, a little recap. This loveliness here. Oh yeah. She's sexy. I don't know, there's something about her. I think she's sexy. We got, what did we get? We got the tribal, the tribal looking choker. Collar, not collar, oh, yeah. Blech. Tribal collar, I don't wanna say choker because I can't wear chokers because they feel like they're choking me. We got beautiful, sweet, vintage coral and turquoise Navajo ring. And we got the, ooh, open it, open it, open it. The outstanding vintage ceramic or porcelain ceramic, whatever, Italian. Beautiful little girl. Little girl, that sounds weird. <laughs> no, female face necklace with coral bits. Just beautiful. Oh, and we can't forget all the fun beads. So I was very happy with this. You know, trades are way to go sometimes, especially if like you're someone who just is dealing with jewelry all the time and buying and selling and buying and selling. It's like, well, you know, if you like the person, trust the person, try it out and see, see if it works for you. Um, yeah. So once again, this stuff was from Gina Gay, um, and she has a YouTube channel, which you probably already know, but Gina Gay, check her out. She is awesome. And this is not staying in focus. Sorry, guys. Okay. Now we're going to move on to some little purchases this week. Oh, some of them weren't so little. I'm not going to show them all because some of them involve like sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not part of this channel. It could be. I could I could make it part of this channel if anyone was interested. But anyway, um, I'm not going to get into full, full details, but there was a woman. Um, she is liquidating her stuff, all of her stuff, and she's, from what I've heard, has amazing. I didn't get a chance to go up to her house or estate or horse ranch or whatever. Um, anyway, um, she's been around. She was one of the first, like, creators or helped start Juicy Couture and whatever. I don't know. I didn't ask too many questions, you know. But um, she brought me some stuff to look at, and some of it was really cool. So I will show you a little bit of what I actually bought. Um, I can't give you individual prices because I did it as a lot, and I'm not showing everything because some of the stuff I have to get checked out with the jeweler, and some of it is already listed on Poshmark, um, and some of it is artwork, not not jewelry artwork. Okay, so this pair, these are antique Mexican wedding earrings. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Zoom in. These are gold and coral. Now, I don't know what year. I haven't done much research other than the fact that I know that they're vintage, possibly antique. And they are what they call Mexican wedding earrings. Just beautiful. All of this detail here, that is called lace work that they do in metal. <laughs> beautiful. Okay. So we got those. And then what did I get? I got um, these Victorian carved coral earrings. Now these, oh my goodness. You ready? Are you ready for something? You never know. Look at that detail on the coral. This is very difficult to do, guys. Coral is not an easy carve, especially in uh, small scale. I mean, 
that's why I'm blown away by cameos, like anything. I'm like, oh, just unbelievable. No, I do not. I did not test these. I don't. It's a little bent there. I don't care about that. But um, I don't know what metal that is. Could be just be brass. Could be silver, tarnished. I don't know. But look at the. All I cared about was the beautiful detail in these. Gorgeous. These guys. And then I got, what did I get? I got these, oh, these are a bohemian a garnet cluster, you know, like romantic-y, pretty earrings. Let's get these all set up here. You ready? You ready? Look at beautiful. Look at that. Now these earrings, and these earrings will be up for sale. I just have to figure out prices, just so you know. The other ones, I think I might be keeping for myself. I'm gonna show you the back of these. Excuse my nails, they're just a disaster. Not that anyone really cares, but you know. Figured since I'm like showing you stuff and my hands are up close, I should at least say, so sorry about my nails. That's what the backs look like. I don't really know. It's like, like a way that they assembled it or built it. It's like, you see how this main little guy right there is attached. It's fed through with silver wire and faceted there. Like, it's interesting. I like seeing how older jewelry is put together. And this doesn't look so old to me. So I don't really know. So I can't be sure about that. I'll have to find it, find out somewhere. Anyway, okay. And so also she had, I mean, she had some just really interesting things. Um, now this bracelet, this is by a um, designer called Tom Bins, okay? And um, I personally had never heard of him. And he does um, really crazy, like rock and roll. He would do like huge safety pin jewelry, but with like, big freshwater pearls and like really interesting it's like he's like a jeweler to like you know rock and roll artists and stuff and so when I saw this I was confused <laughs> I mean to be honest I was like what the heck is this you know it's on a flipping watch band but then I was like oh my god this is genius it's like you take the vintage and put it with new and look at that I mean, come on, that thing, well, I, I don't know. I think it's incredibly creative. I think it makes this kind of thing new again. I mean, there's still plenty of people that love this as brooches or whatever, and that's thumbs up for y'all. Um, but me, I, I can appreciate it, but it's just not my thing. But then you add something a little different to it, and it's, you know. Now, this one, I have small wrists, so I'll just open it. Anyway, um... But this watch band is a watch band. It can be adjusted. It can be made smaller, which, you know. Anyway, this is going to be for sale as well. But look at this. I mean, it's just pretty incredible, if you ask me. Is it all out of focus? It sure is. Sorry, guys. Look at that. I don't know. I just, you know, I had never seen anything like it. Maybe I'm just not hip anymore. Is that, is that because I'm getting old? I hope not. Old people can be hip, right? Yeah, come on. Tell me. Anyway, so if you wanted to do research, this um, jeweler's name is Tom Bins. I don't know if he's American, English. I'm feeling he's not American. Oh, no. Okay, sorry, guys. I accidentally pressed stop. Well, hopefully I'll, I'll figure out how to patch this all together. Anywho, so, yeah. Tom Bins bracelet, designer to the rock and roll artists in, um, in Hollywood and in Europe. And like you've seen his stuff in like everything, supposedly Vogue, Elle, Mademoiselle, um, Italian Vogue, like real big all over Europe, um, the runways, everything. So I scored a piece. How cool is that? I think it's pretty cool. Um, and this guy is for sale because I, you know, tried to do my comps and this and that. And if anyone's interested, this guy is $175. And like I said, he can be made smaller, not bigger, because I didn't. She didn't have extra length, so 
you know, it's a nice size. Anyway, I just thought that was just remarkable. Okay, so that's that on learning a new jeweler, that jewelry artist, craftsman that I'd never heard of. Okay, let's see, real quick. What else do I have here? Let's see. Oh, okay. Um, oh, another YouTube person that's been really supportive of me, um, My Jewelry Addiction, um, Tanya, My Jewelry Addiction. And she does um, auctions and buy it nows and stuff. Um, and I do buy from her. Um, anyway, and I don't have all the pieces I got this week because one actually already sold. Someone saw it and bought it right then and there. And I wasn't even sure that it was for sale. But anyway, um, I got this little lovely ring. This is Mexican Fire Opal. Stick it on so you can see it. Once again, a smaller ring. Sometimes you need a smaller ring. I liked it. It looked um very, it's very handmade with the pounding. And it says sterling inside, which, you know, a lot of times just tells you instead of 925, it says sterling. Now, not always. A lot of artists and stuff will say sterling, but it usually shows it's an older, an older piece. I bet this is from the 70s. And then we got another little tiny turquoise. This one's cool. Look at the little like marks in it. Interesting matrix. It almost looks like little pieces of moss. I know it's not, but it's what it looks like to me. And this is definitely vintage. I'd say this is from the 60s. Before they started, this is just with the rope design. So it's before they started doing the flowers and the leaves. That's usually around the 60s. Okay. And Tanya also has a ton of stuff as well. Um, all different stuff. All different kinds. Hence the name of her channel. My Jewelry Addiction. <laughs> Okay, so what did I buy for myself other than through other people? Okay, so, okay. So growing up as a lot of girls, maybe even little boys, um, I loved, I, I was okay with unicorns, but I loved Pegasuses. I don't know why, but I really did. And I found this and I, you know, yeah, I had, I did it. I had to do it. Look at that. It's a flipping Pegasus. For an adult. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love her. I love her. Anyway, let's see. Put on a better finger. I don't know. <sighs> so I thought she was, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. And it wasn't too like babyish. I mean, I am a, a grown woman, they tell me. So <laughs> I figured, you know, that's pretty cool. What else is happening here? Oh, okay. And this is pretty, I've never, you know, I've seen them, but I've never gotten one. Um, these are all faceted amethysts. Big, chunky, chunky, heavy piece. Isn't she beautiful? And she will be for sale as well. I just don't have a price. I just got her like yesterday, day before. She weighs a lot, I have to wear. But these are just really, really, look at that. I do have to clean her still. Look at that. She's so pretty. Let's put her on the little thingy. She's something. I mean, I'm a stone carver, but I just don't, you know, this is just another whole level here. Doing all the facet bit stuff. Just patience, and you have to be very zen. It is a lot of work. Especially if you look at these amethysts, you'll see that there's actual veining in them. Any veining that you see in any stone is actually a fault line. So that makes it very difficult to carve, grind, anything, because you don't know. It could just, you could be working on something for 40 hours or more or less, and 
it'll just snap in half. So even with the grinder, which these are mostly done with little, you know, grinding wheels and things like that, um, you still have to be extremely careful. So I'm always blown away by this kind of stuff. It just captures Look at the light play. And this is a dirty necklace. I haven't cleaned it yet. Not in great studio lighting, you know, and you can see still just how beautiful that is. say this week overall you know we did pretty good you know some things for me some things for resale let's see here I can't forget this beauty All these, yeah. Oh, and my and my can't forget my Pegasus. I think that's pretty beautiful. All this lovely stuff. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me again. I do appreciate it. Once again, my name is Kirsten Bed. This is Kirsten Bed Resale. Um, if you like what you see, please uh, think about subscribing. It really does help me out. I guess is what they tell me to say. So I'm gonna say it. It helps me out. Thumbs up or thumbs down helps the algorithm. Hopefully it's thumbs up um, and press the notification bell. So when I do upload something, you'll be one of the first to see it. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Thank you once again so much. Bye-bye.